Hi guys, hi Saseni, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are seeing this face for the first time, my name is Ruth Kim. I'm a Kenyan currently living here in Germany. I share my own experiences as a foreigner living here in Germany. I share also videos on how you can move to Germany or how you can migrate to Germany legally. And on today's video, I'm going to talk about those people who want to do house building, but they are afraid that the money is not going to be enough. We all know the, uh, already that we have so many people who moved here and instead of going straight for training or house building or going to the unis, they ended up working. And they started working with no professional or uh, with no profession or with no qualification, and they ended up becoming assistant. For example, an assistant caregiver, assistant nurse, like we all know that. And so many people are willing to do the house, uh, the house building, but they are afraid that the money is not going to be enough. And this is the reason why I advise so many people when you move to Germany, especially those who are being brought here by spouses, like they don't or have to look for something to make them stay here. Like they have already been served with everything like they can work immediately they move here i always advise people the best thing to do when you move to germany is to learn the german language and make sure if you don't have a degree if you have no training you go for ausbildung which is occasional training and if you have a degree i always also ask people to go back to the uni and do masters if it's possible or look for a job under your qualification anyways this video is for those people who had no training and they started working directly as for example caregiver assistant i'm going to give a example with nursing assistant because i myself am a nurse and i know so many people who work as nursing assistant not because they want to work as nursing assistant but because they are afraid if they start doing the house building the money is not going to be enough for those who don't know uh, training here in Germany you get paid because normally ausbildung which is uh, vocational training goes for three years you have to attend the uh, theoretical classes theory classes at in school and then you have to go for practical lessons back in the hospital for example if you're working in the hospital and for the first year during the house building, you get 1,191 euros. The second year, you get 1,252 euros. And the third year, you get 1,374 euros. And for so many people who are working as a nurse assistant or caregiver assistant, this is not uh, enough. That is not enough. And now in 2023, the minimum wage, let me go there. Uh, the minimum wage for unskilled nurse in 2023 is 14 euros and 60 cents. This is for, an, for a nurse with no, no experience in uh, nursing. And if you have a one year training or a one year house building as a caregiver assistant you get 15 euros and 25 cents this is good money this is good money and, and this this does not mean that these people get this money this 15 euros and 25 cents per hour no no so many institutions go above that i know of a place like at our place by the way if you're interested hit me up I can give you a job if you are willing to work as if you're a nurse qualified nurse or your nursing assistant or you feel like this is your thing this is your calling and you're here in germany let me know i can offer you that job and we pay 17 euros for a unskilled nurse 17 euros per hour anyway back to my back to the content of this video like if you're working as a nursing assistant and getting 17 euro, euros per hour that's good money so when you think of these 1191 euros for trainees this is not enough this is not enough and this is the problem that so many people have like the money house building money is not enough and maybe someone has kids bills to take care of guys i got you there are ways here in germany you can be able to get more money during your house building the first one is bab bab B -A -B in germany which is beruf's building by hilfe b-a-b beruf's building by hilfe every person who is doing their house building is titled to this money 
BAB, Berus Bildung Beihilfe. But if you are doing only school, like those people who did like uh, Europa Secretary, you only go to school, you don't do the practical part, then you are not entitled to this money. This money is only entitled to those people who are doing Ausbildung. From BAB, from B, BAB, you can get up to 785 euros per month. And the good thing is this money, you don't have to pay it back. Like at the end of the Ausbildung, you don't have to return this money. You don't have to care about that. Uh, the requirements, things you require for you to apply for BAB, to be doing an Ausbildung, like a state recognized Ausbildung. This is the number one requirement. And where you're supposed to apply is at the Agentur for Arbeit. You can easily calculate through their website if you are qualified to get this money. This money is not for everyone. You have to have the need to be able to get the BAB. BAB. The next one, guys, is BAFOC. We know so many people who are studying, they get BAFOC, but also as an house builder or if you're doing training, you can have you can get up to 785 euros per month. But for you to be able to get BAFOC, you are ma the money that your parents are getting has to be considered. The money that your partner is getting has to be considered. Dad. So this one is not the easiest to get. This one is not easy, easy peasy to get. But if you feel like you can be able to get it, go for it. Another one, in case you didn't get the BRB and Buffer, you can try the Von Geld. You can try the Von Geld. The Von Geld is housing benefit. You can try the housing benefit for you to be for them to be able to finance for your rent. The qualification is that you have to be of age 18 plus. You have to have an apartment, of course, that you're paying and you need help for them to be able to finance it. And you have to not be living with your parents. Don't take a room with your parents and then you say this is the room that you're paying. No, 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 no. So this one is also a good thing. You can try and apply for Von Geld. Who knows? It might work for you. The next one is Kindergeld. So if you're still under the age of 25... You are entitled to your Kindergeld. You can still get your Kindergeld, which is from 2023 is 250. You can still get that. And if you're not, you're no longer living with your parents, you can be antrang. You can apply to be getting that money directly. The other one that I feel like is super, super good and super, super easy, it's to get a mini job. Yes, I know when you're doing a house building, it's too much because you're working, you're studying and... You need the more free time as possible, but doing a mini job, especially if you do a mini job in the same area that you are training, it's going to be a super, super added opportunity. And you're going to add, by the way, the mini job is no longer 450, it's now 520. And this is good, good money, which is going to be added into your income. And it's actually tax free. Yes, guys, it's a tax free so guys and before i forget and this one should have actually been be the first one so if you are working somewhere as a nursing assistant you're working in an institution and you want to do house billing but you feel like the money you're getting is not enough go to your boss go to the person in charge talk to them tell them madam i want to do the house building but i feel like the house building get hard the house building money is not going to be enough for me is there a way that you can continue getting the same amount the same money you are getting as a flag helper or caregiver assistant during your house building most institutions especially in hamburg they are going to say yes but under one condition after the house building you are obligated to work in that institution for a while. I hope you guys are getting me. But this is a good thing. Let's say, for example, you were getting 1,800 per month during the caregiver assistant. And then you continue getting the same money with the same benefits uh, during the house building for the three years. That's going to be good for you. And maybe you add an extra mini job on top of it. So you're going to be 2,000 plus. So... Talk to your institution, talk to the person in charge and see what they can do for you. Anyways, I always encourage so many, many, many people to do the house building because there are so many people who are comfortable as caregiver assistants. They are comfortable for now, but think about the future. Think how good it's, it's going to be in those three years. 
Because we, we people, we nurses who are qualified, we do almost the same job. Actually, there are some of caregiver assistants who do a lot of work more than even the nurses themselves. And they get less money. Think about the future. Think about the great future. What's going to happen? And another thing. You might think, ah, it's only 200, 300 difference from the registered nuns or the qualified ones. But think about the qualifications that you can get after becoming a nurse. You can be able to get yourself, uh, you can be able to get qualification that makes you work where you wish and enjoy working. By the way, there is nothing strong than this Uakunde. The certificate, you have a C in everywhere. You go somewhere looking for a job and you have the right to tell them, no, 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 that's not for me. The document is super, super powerful. And we have the opportunity to study here in Germany for free and get paid. People should consider that. Anyways, I'm not ranting. I know, I know, I know education is not for everyone. I know there are so many people who would love to do the hospital, but this is not for them. Going back to school is not for them. If you are one of them, and you're looking for a job, hit me up. Guys, if you know someone who is looking for a job, hit me up. By the way, guys, before I start this video, I want to say that if you're somewhere in Canada, in US, in France, in Netherlands, in Belgium, in Italy, in Portugal, and you want to send money to your loved ones back at home, please trust tap tap download tap tap send send money to your people through mpesa and directly to their banks tap tap send has fantastic rates and zero transfer fee guys trust tap tap and if you download tap tap send today use my code for your first transfer for your first transaction if you send money today and by the way guys let me tell you something back on tap tap send if you compare tap tap send with the other apps for sending money home you're going to find out that the other apps or most of the other apps the rates are high but remember those apps they have transfer fee so if you don't believe me guys if you don't believe me when I say tap tap send is the best app to send money home, if you want to send ten thousand, if you want to send ten thousand Kenya shillings today, go to those other apps that I know you have, put there to be received ten thousand Kenya shillings, and go to tap tap send and put ten thousand Kenya shillings, and tell me if it's not the best. Santeni sana, and you guys, remember this video is sponsored by tap tap send. Anyways, I love you so much, guys. Don't forget to download TapTapSend. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye-bye.